Yes, Goal, I am Mr. Tough Sports Guy, and I'm also proud because I know Long Division. And let's take a look at this problem. 747 divided by 4. Okay, how many groups of 4 can you squeeze out of 7? Uh, 1, then you multiply. 1 times 4 is 4. Then you subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3. Then I bring down and I rewrite the division house. Now I need to know how many groups of 4 can I squeeze out of 34? Well, it's uh, 8. What's 8 times 4? Well, 2 times 8 is 16. We 32, right? Oh, that sounds pretty good. Okay, so I'm thinking 8. 8 times 4 is 32. So I multiply or down to 32 there. Then how many are still around that I haven't taken care of? I subtract 34 minus 32 is 2. I bring down the 7. I rewrite the division house. How many groups of 4 can I squeeze out of 27? 8? That's too many. Um, 7? 7 times 4 is what? Seven times four, that's too many. How about, uh, about five? But that's 20. Five times four is 20. More than that, six? Seven. Seven times four. Hmm. Seven times four. Seven times... No, it, seven times four is 28, isn't it? So maybe it's six. Six times four is 24. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Now let's check it out, though. Six times four is 24. So if I subtract, I get 1 left. No, 27 minus this 3. Sorry, oops, 3. So I have a remainder of 3. OK, and don't forget to write the R there so you know it's a remainder. Now, I want to check something out here. Let's try checking this problem with uh, multiplication. So we get your 747 right there, and then we had 186, we'll forget about this remainder, 186, and then 4. So what I want you to do is take 186 and multiply it times 4 and see what you get. Okay, do that. Now I'll just fly around my plane to walk. Yes, I mean you. I want you to write down 186 and multiply it by 4. Okay, you're done, right? Let me see how fast I can do it. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2, give it a rest. 4 times 8 is 32. Plus the 2 is 34. Carry the 3, give it a rest. 4 times 1 is 4, plus the 3 is 7, 144, okay, 744, and we had 747, oh, well, what about that remainder, what if we add the remainder back in, what's 744 plus 3 more, well, it's 747. So if you add that remainder back in, you can actually multiply your uh, quotient without the remainder times the divisor, and you should get your original number. Then if you add the remain, well, no, you'll get a number that's close to your original number. You add the remainder back in, you'll get your original number. And so you can check by multiplying if, if you know what to do with that remainder. Yeah. Goal.